Hi everyone. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing fine. Today I want to make some, well you know I live in Nova Scotia so it's like a fishing industry kind of a thing here mainly and I had a request for some buoy earrings. So I thought, well I've already made quite a few pairs of them but then I thought I should probably do a tutorial and show you how I make them. So anyway, I just have some blue. I'm using female. This one's Windsor blue. I think I'm going blind. I have a yellow here. I think it's just called yellow. Or lemon. And I've done some, I've already made a couple here. They're very tiny because people seem to like the tiny ones. So there's one that I've got ready to be baked. So anyway, I thought I'd show you how I do them. Now I've <laughs> done it many different ways and I'm trying to figure out the easiest way. So I just take my acrylic roller, condition my clay, clay and then I just roll it like this. Now you don't need a lot, <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut this one in half and I'm gonna cut a piece off of my blue. And I find this to be the easiest. Stick these two together. Roll them together, because that way you're gonna get them both the same width and diameter. And I'll just roll it until I get it to the size I want. That looks pretty good. And you can see it's stuck together very nicely. Then I'm just going to cut it. And I like to keep the dark on the bottom. I don't always. I mean, they are just earrings. So I'm going to keep the lighter on top, and I'm going to keep that one a little bit bigger than the bottom one. Then I'll stick these two together. I don't know where that high pitch came from, but anyway. And then I'll roll these two. Oops. Stuck to my roller. And if it's off a little bit, you just give this a little pull, whichever way you want it to go, and it'll go right back to a perfect line. Again, I've made a lot of these. And I've learned this over practice. Then I'm going to stick these two together to get the same, or as close to. And if I cut some off the other one, that's fine, because I want them both the same size, you see. It's, not a whole lot that I cut off, just a little bitty tiny piece. And the same with the top one. Itty bitty tiny little piece. <clears throat> and then, now I was taking one of those, um, oh, what you call them things? Do I have one here? Probably not, because you know I'm having a brain moment where it doesn't want to. Apologize for yawning, but ever since I've been sick with COVID all those weeks, I just, I'm not, I just don't think I'm ever going to be the same again. Don't know what else to say. Anyway, um, well, here's one of these, but I'm talking about the one where it's, it's got the loop at the end. Why can't I think of the name of that? Anyway, I would poke one of those right down through, but I found it hard to keep the shape. So I'm just going to do it this way, and then I'll get out my little screwing things that I put in the end and I'll finish it off that way but oh do I have any here to show you that I made because I do the end as well but when we get to that part you'll see so right now I'm just going to round off this part with my fingers just round it off carefully because you know that's what these kind of movies look like and I've seen quite a few lately and so I've been eyeballing them. I mean, these aren't the only shape buoys you can get, but they're the most popular. And these really show a buoy. Anyway, so then once I play with them a little bit, I want the shape. Whoops! See that one was a little bit fatter. I want the shapes to be the same. So I'll do this. And as you see, one is a little bit bigger. And that's just because of all the rolling and stuff I've done to it. So I'm going to snip off a little tiny bit on both ends. 
I mean, it's always something you could sand later too, but does that look? Let me roll it again, see. And my baby's upstairs. Mo, my Maine Coon, is very chatty. He is a chatty little fella. Well, he's not little. Ooh. Picked him up yesterday. I was like, my goodness, Mo, you are heavy. I gotta get him weighed again. Anyway, so I'm not really in the screen a whole good lot. I could probably zoom in a little bit too, but if I move this, I'm probably gonna yeah, see. Let me get back up here where you can see me better. Camera, stop moving. Anyway, there we go. So I'm going to do these, bake them. I have my fingerprints on them again, so I'm going to roll it just lightly, ever so lightly to get them off. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for here. <clears throat> I never can when I'm looking. I can never find what I want. No, but I will look for them one. Oh, while they're baking, I'll look for them. Things where you just screw the edge. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Let me see. Nope, I can't find those either. See, I've sold them all. I don't have any left. They're very, 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 very popular. Which is a great thing. Anyway, I'm going to probably do a few more. And I'll bake them. And when they're all done, let's have done this color too. Uh, when these are all done, I'll be back to show you. And I'll show you how I, I finish them off. So I'll see you, well, for you, split second. For me, probably, you know, about an hour or so. See you in a minute. Hey, everyone. We're back. And, yeah, I kind of get a little carried away with putting all my stuff together, as you can see. So these ones I did do a little bit different than I've done with my other ones. Like my other ones, I would have put some clay on the, around on the bottom here. But I find it just is really difficult to do and time consuming and it's hard to get it to. It's just it's so tiny, right? Like, look. So I didn't do it this time. I just put the little wires in and I suppose I should have showed you what I did. Ha ha. You see, I just grabbed one of these, although I think I'd already explained it, perhaps. Whoops, I almost dropped the other piece. And they're only really about, it's hard to show on here, about that long. And I just cut pieces off and used my little thingy, my bobber here, screwed a hole in the bottom, and I put a little bit of super glue on it and stuck it in. If, they were, if I found them too long, I would just snip them off a little bit and just hold them together and snip them so that they're the same size. And again, for the top, I just drilled a little tiny hole. And I'm going to take one of these eye screws, which I think I couldn't think of the name of before. Anyway. And I'm just going to screw that in there. Oops. My hands are sore today. I say my hands, but it's my thumbs in here. They just pain, pain, pain. Anyway, this is the part of getting older. Open up my ear wire, flip that on. And just like so. I do have the rubbers for these, but oh, there goes my furnace. Oh, of course, probably my hot water. But that's it. That's all there is to this. Very simple, very cute buoys. I'm probably going to make some more. They seem to be quite popular. And that's about it, really, for this tutorial. And I guess it's a good time to get off here because of the noise from my furnace. And short one, short but sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.